Hello and welcome to the CQI14 Automotive Warranty Management video on the No Trouble Found Decision Tree Analysis Tool. The goal of this short training video is to provide an overview of the NTF Decision Tree Analysis Tool and to familiarize the user with the overall process of using the tool effectively. The CQI14 Automotive Warranty Management Guideline is designed to promote advances in consumer satisfaction and continuous warranty improvement by providing a recommended robust warranty management program that instills a consumer-centric approach to warranty management. The guideline is organized in steps and includes recommended processes, a self-assessment for both supplier or OEM, and the NTF Decision Tree Analysis Tool. The guideline includes case studies that show how the NTF Decision Tree Analysis Tool was used to solve the warranty issue. NTF – No Trouble Found Even though parts were replaced by the dealer, OEM or supplier analysis could not confirm the existence of the problem reported by the consumer. This does not discount the concern. Rather, it indicates that the condition or conditions that caused the concern was not a. reproduced or identified in the Statement of Requirements, B. Qualification tests did not challenge the component sufficiently. C. No data were captured by the in-vehicle diagnostic system or part intelligence system indicating such a concern. And or D. The true causal part was not correctly identified, so the wrong part was replaced. And E. Individual components in a system are within specifications, but the system as a whole fails. NTF remains one of the more difficult challenges in the warranty field. NTF problem solving typically is not a single event activity, but requires several occurrences being investigated to generate sufficient data to support an investigation toward a solution. The organization determines when the part should be designated as NTF and indicate an NTF activity. A cooperative effort by the partner organizations focused on root cause identification greatly improves the probability of success. Organizations may include OEMs, organization suppliers, and suppliers of adjoining components. The NTF Decision Tree Analysis Tool is a support tool developed from the successful resolution of actual NTF case studies. Assist an organization to look at unrecognized sources of variation outside the standard investigation process areas. The tool can assist the team in investigating the most likely problem cause or causes. Consider the decision tree as a work-in-progress tool to be modified to suit your organization's needs. As we look at the tool, the general flow is left to right. Choose the most likely area for investigation, starting in column A at the left, then move to column B, again looking for the most likely area. There may be more than one box identified in columns A or B. Once A and B have been determined, move to column C or D. These actions are repeated until the root cause is determined, which is column E. We will walk through the tool now to demonstrate how it functions and can be used. The team starts in columns A and proceeds left to right through columns B, C, and D. If the cause is not determined in the first cycle, the team must return to column A, or a previous column for a most likely area of investigation, and repeat if necessary. The team may need to cycle through the model several times until the root cause can be determined. The tool is a thinking aid to help identify the cause or causes for developing corrective action for the case in question. The CQI-14 guideline contains several actual case studies with the resolution defined through the NTF Decision Tree Analysis Tool. The purpose is not to teach the full extent of the problem slash issue, but to help the team understand a methodology to detect potential alternative and or overlooked root causes for NTF parts, including parts that did not appear to have a problem. The NTF decision tree analysis tool is a starting point after an NTF condition is identified. The continuing to follow the potential paths defined by the NTF decision tree analysis tool can help lead to the root cause. This helps team members address the question, if I have an NTF part, what are the next steps? The CQI-14 case study examples demonstrate that multiple paths may be required and that it may take more than one path through the decision tree to determine the root cause. Any area of investigation can be selected when moving to the next column. In some problems, there will be more than one root cause and then multiple solutions may be required. Let's look at an example. Let's start with the Tire Pressure Monitoring System, TPMS, 
or capture rate case study, which is number ZZ41 for those of you who have the CQI14 guideline. In this case, the dealer would complete the repairs in the most likely occurrence. ECU is the electronic control unit in the vehicle. Although the issue was detected, actual parts verification yielded no trouble found results. The intermittent condition and history of TPMS performance allowed for the problem to pass through to the production phase. After the model launch, returned warranty parts analysis of sensors, ECU, or receiver all showed no trouble found condition when evaluated by the supplier. The OEM and supplier conducted vehicle level evaluations of the complete TPMS system with both new and returned parts. By isolating and measuring signal inputs outputs of each component within the system, a specific capacitor in the TPMS receiver circuit was found to be the cause of a poor signal capture rate between the receiver and the sensors during synchronization. Let's look at the problem-solving path using the NTF Decision Tree Analysis tool. Let us review the following case study. As a team, walk through the decision tree and determine which steps would be relevant. As a team, agree to the path and remember that there most likely will be several pathways through this exercise. A06 Control Vehicle Study Slash Evaluation Versus Prior Model Computer B06 Evaluate the returned part versus the OK part. C07 Are there any differences? A02 Component or Mating Part System Analysis B03 Evaluate mating system that can affect performance. C02. Does the design specification meet and use specification? D02. Do we need to modify the design to meet usage needs? As you can see from D02, E01, and E03, that after modifying the design, the team issues a technical service bulletin and released a new part into the system and eliminated the old part. Root cause. The capacitor specification prevented the receiver's threshold circuit to settle quickly after various vehicle system variations. As a result, the threshold circuit would still be elevated during synchronization, causing the receiver to fall down to around a 60% capture rate of transmitter sync bits from the sensors. This would lead to the receiver sending imperfect synchronization bits to the ECU. After six to seven missed sync bits, the ECU would then ignore the subsequent tire pressure data, leading to a sensor silent fault condition and triggering the TPMS warning light on. Please note that the quick field fix is the interim corrective action, and the production countermeasure and recurrence prevention is the permanent corrective action. The lessons learned are component level bench testing is not always sufficient to catch issues that may be related to vehicle architecture. This was a system-level problem requiring whole vehicle investigation. Thus, vehicle-level testing is needed in order to isolate individual system components and measure working specifications and inputs, outputs, while in a simulated system of vehicle variation. This issue was captured in pre-production stages. However, it was allowed to flow out to the field due to NTF condition of investigated parts and moderate tolerance for chronic TPMS light-on issues. There were multiple occurrences in production, but no deep dive into a resolution. Vehicle level system testing implemented at this stage could have intercepted this issue before flowing out to the customer. NTF resolution steps. Listen to the consumer complaint, consumer surveys. Observe the failure. Measure the difference from prior model year engine computer performance. Modify engine computer to match the prior model. Evaluate change to confirm concern corrected. Implement corrective action. Final thoughts. Improve consumer satisfaction through reduced incident rates. NTF can be a significant source of dissatisfaction. Root causes can be identified, but requires an organization to go beyond normal investigation and be willing to look at all potential sources of variation. Improve OEM slash tier satisfaction with a reduction of warranty claims and subsequent warranty cost. CQI14 and the NTF tool are ways to make your business successful. Thank you for watching this video. 
For more information, contact quality at AIAG.org.